Good morning. Good morning, family. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, today is Thursday, the 21st of July. And I come on to speak on a topic that is prevalent. It's prevalent in my life right now. Um, it's a topic that I'm constantly questioned about. Um, and uh, so we're going to discuss it. We're going to discuss it further. Um, so it's like, where do I begin? Do I put anybody out the room? First, we're not going to put nobody out the room because I am, I want to talk to, not only do I want to talk to my women, but I also want to talk to my bros. And I want you guys to, you know, um, give me some feedback on this thing. And, you know, let's open up this dialogue, really. Let's kind of open it up and, and, and kind of um, have an exchange, an adult exchange about this topic. Uh, a brief little synopsis. Um, I was just outside I, this morning when I woke up. Um, Ken came a little bit ago, and he was. We were outside, and we were back. He's out there vacuuming out the, the pool. And we had to clean the filter and everything. It's been y'all. It's been like 113 every day. I had a lot of kids in the water, and the water began to turn because kids was in there pissing in the water. You know, kids don't tell you that they got to pee. They just going to pee. Well, the water began to turn, so I had to go and I had to shock it. And all these different things had to take place. So, um, now we're just vacuuming it out and, you know, cleaning the filter. So, Kenny's here and he's doing that and we're outside we're talking. And, um, and I was telling him that, uh, you know, we were talking about something that he questions me about often. And, you know, not only him, but, you know, other men that I know, they hit me with this all the time. And so let me just be clear all the way around. And also, I just want to share this with my girls as well. Damn, I wish he would have did close that all the way up. I hope y'all can hear me. I have the air conditioner on back here. And so um, it's a little loud. And so, and there's no volume on this thing to turn it up, turn it down, and all that kind of shit. It's not none of that. So, let's throw that out, okay? This is the flip. So, my hope is that, though, what I will do, though, is I'll go back and forth and turn it off and turn it on. Just, you know, then therefore, just to give you guys a little reprieve on the sound. But anyway, uh, what I want to talk about is... Um, Well, what Kenny had asked me, what is it that I want? What do you want? What do you want? Okay, let me tell you what I want. Can I tell you what I want? Okay, what I want is a life partner. Just like I told him. I'm telling y'all just as I told him. Excuse me. I want a life partner. I want a motherfucker that's going. And see, there's a difference to me and say a life partner or a soulmate. You can come in if you want to come in. Um it's, it was out there. No, oh, right here, right here. <clears throat> There's a difference between a life partner and a soulmate. You know what I mean? See and to me the way I look at it is it stages to this thing. Now I was a I was a, a wife over twenty years so I could speak from that club. Okay. I was also separated for numerous years. I could speak from that club. I could speak on the sense that me and my husband are still together. We're still living in the same house, sharing the same compounds of the house. But, nigga, you do your thing. I just don't want to hear about it. I come from that, too. You know, um, so, and then, now, single, in my 40s. I can speak from the 40 club, from the single era, and what's going on out here in the single life. And I tell you what, man, I get hit with all kinds. Girls, listen. <laughs> I get hit with all kinds of shit, okay? I get motherfuckers got U-Haul trucks ready to bring, bring their shit to my house. Like, okay, well then let's go ahead on and solidify this thing, and I'll be, I'll be moving in by the weekend. And I'm like, what is this? The whereas here for the past few months, and 
you know, I made no, I made no, made it no secret that, you know, me and Ken, there's a love between us, but, you know, I kind of pushed back from Ken months back, okay? And so, you know, it's just been like, um, I love him, but it's like a, a, a thing. I don't know what you call it, okay? And maybe it's because it's been eight years. It's been eight of them motherfuckers. Eight, 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 okay? So it's like, okay, what do I, what do I, what do I want? What do I want to go? What do I want to, what, 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 you know, what are, we, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, as we begin to push back, you know, I begin to, you know, see some other people and they go out on a few dates. I wanted to do that <clears throat> because right after, you know, I got my name and shit back, it was like, you know, let me figure out what it is out here. Let me, let me, I've never, I've never dated. So I don't know, you know what I mean? I met my husband at 20 years old, got married at 22. So I didn't have much of a dating life. So it's like, okay, let me see what this single life is about. Let me, you know, meet a few people, you know, give myself a, 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 a comparison and contrast, you know? It's like, I, don't, I, I didn't really have that. You know, how can I say that this is total to bond if I don't know what else the bomb is? If this is all I know, then therefore, you know, what do I have to base things on? I've never been a cheater. I'm not a cheating type of woman. You know what I mean? I'm one of them faithful motherfuckers. You better trust and believe. When you check that Virgo shit out, I'm that bitch through and through. The coldest bitch on the wheel. I'm that motherfucker, okay? But cheating, I'm not. I've never been one of them. I don't know. I don't know how to do that well. You know what I mean? I don't know how to juggle niggas around and you know lie to this one and tell this one that one and that this this. I don't know how to do that, okay? I've been a wife. So, but coming into this dating era. In 20 and 2000, whatever, this shit's crazy. Man, this shit is crazy. This shit is so motherfucking crazy. It's like, oh my God, I'm like, wow. Is this what's going on out here? Is this what's really going on out here? Because I'm tripping for the simple fact that there's <clears throat> grown ass men still playing games, which got me tripping. Because I'm like, wow. Seem like to me, as you get older, you're supposed to get better. That's what I think. I think you're supposed to progress. It's supposed to be a progression at every stage in your life. Excuse me, y'all. I've just been drinking coffee. And I got these gurgles and bubbles all in my chest. Some of you guys might not understand that, but some of you guys that, you know, have my same conditions understand. So I'm trying to settle it down, but the more I talk, the more I'm having this exchange of air, and it's still giving me these gurgles and bubbles, so excuse me. Seems like it's starting to subside a little bit. But, anyway, um, the point I'm trying to make is, as you get older, it seems like to me you're supposed to get better. You know what I'm saying? And as you begin to... Strengthen, strengthen your spirituality, that's supposed to make you a better person. You know what I mean? Integrity to me is everything. I just feel like, you know, when I meet people, you know, I want to take you for who you are. If you say your name is Clyde, okay, nice to meet you, Clyde. My name is Tina. How you doing? I'm not putting it in my mind that whatever coming out of your mouth is a bunch of bullshit. Because I'm, I'm, I'm standing firm in the belief that you on the same page I'm on as far as being a man of integrity, as I am a woman of integrity. I am who I say that I am. If I say that I'm this, then I'm that. I mean, what, 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 I mean, to me, the way I look at it, when you have children, your children get in trouble. Them the ones have, they, they, they the ones supposed to have some type of fear when it comes down time to telling the truth on things. But when you become a certain age, you're supposed to come right on out with it. Okay, stop saying yes to shit you really want to say no to. Let me also say that. That just came in my mind that I needed to say that to somebody. I don't know. Uh, the, I'm, burning, I'm burning a little dragon's blood. So, then therefore, it kind of, you know, y'all look it up. Look up those things. But not to divert, but, you know, it's like, okay, 
So it's like, in my 40s right now, I feel as though I'm in my prime. I feel like everything is working. My health is on 10. I'm, I feel, I feel life. I feel like I'm living. Um, I, um, nothing is hurting me. I have no ailments. I can move my body freely. Um, I feel sexy. I feel whole. I feel full of life, you know. <clears throat> it's hard to explain it, really. But I know that I'm in a place and in a space in my life that I've never been before, okay. And I guess because, you know, as you have smaller children, you know, whatever their ailments are, you're constantly, as a mother, trying to heal all their wounds. And, okay, now it's time to feed them. Now it's time to do this. Now it's time to do that. And you're living for them. And even as a husband, you know, you're helping him find his keys. You're helping him get dressed. You're helping this right here. You're doing that, this, 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 this. I had to do all that. Whereas now, my baby is 14, so I don't have to check his outfit every day. You know what I'm saying? I've instilled enough in him to wear it in the back of his mind. He know mama ain't going to go for that shit. So let me not even come out of here with it because she, she I already know she ain't going for it. So it's like you instill certain things in your children to wear it when they also get of age. Then therefore, in the back of their mind, they already know mama ain't going to go for the bullshit. So that is one other thing, too, for you ladies that have small children. Start instilling some shit in them to where when they get older, you ain't got to watch them so motherfucking closely because... They already know what they can and can't do. They know what line they can't cross. So you need to be building on that for those of you guys that have small children. Don't allow your kids to raise themselves because one of these days they might be raising you and helping you out. And if you haven't been what you needed to be, then therefore, and now they got to take care of your ass, now they finna come and bring some bullshit to you, put you in a nursing home and all kinds of shit because they don't know what the fuck to do. You know, and nor are you guys' relationships close enough to where they can say, you know what, I'm taking care of my mama. You ain't taking her no motherfucking way until the day I die. I'm going to be taking care of my mama or whatever the case, you know. But start instilling some good values and integrity and shit in your children and, and teaching them the way of life, the way of the world, what's going on in this motherfucker. Not just teaching them, you know, the bullshit, but teaching them on how this world works. You know, we're in election year. They need to know. I have open dialogue with my children about what's going on in this world. You also need to talk to your kids about what's going on. Teach them how to manage some money and shit. My mama didn't teach me that. I had to learn all that shit on my own. But now that I'm able to tell somebody else, start teaching your goddamn kids what it is that you need them to know. Because later on in life, you're going to need them. You're going to need them. So why in the hell are you just letting them just run amok out in this motherfucker? That's crazy to me. So, anyway, that brings you up to be an adult and you just out here and you running reckless because you've been raising yourself, you've been raised by the streets. It's hard to love a man that's been raised by the streets. It's hard to love a woman that is so hardcore and so hard and heartened. How can you love her when she won't let you in? When you're tying both of my hands, that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, this, this, this dating thing is, is, is hard, you know, and then a lot of people say, well, I want me a wife, I want me a husband, I want, do you know how to be a husband and do you know how to be a wife? You just can't say, I want me a wife. What? How the fuck can you just say, I want me a husband? Mama, do you know what you need to be as a woman to become a wife? Those are two different things, to be a woman, to be a wife. Okay, now you got to juggle all that and then to also be a mother. Huh? Okay, it's a juggling act because you still got to be a woman, you still got to be a wife, and now you got to be a mother. You got to juggle all these things if you want to do it right. You just can't be out here, okay, I'm a wife, and you out here just running a monk, don't know what the fuck to do, don't know how to cook for this man feeding, don't know how to take care of the home, don't know how to raise no motherfucking kids, but yet and still you want to be a wife? Let's flip this shit around. How you gonna be a husband when your motherfucking ass can't come home at night and you wanna rip and run the streets and still wanna hang out with your friends and with your crew in the middle of the night? What is out in the streets at night? You're supposed to be at home with your wife, with your children, laying it down. No, men still wanna be out at night. What the fuck you wanna be out at night for? To be up in somebody else's ass? 
That's all it could be, really, because you ain't got no business running the streets. But there's a lot of men still want to be able to, well, I want to hang out with my friends. What the hell? What is hanging out with friends at a certain age? What are y'all talking about? Then therefore, because see, the way I look at it like this right here, you cannot have the same mentality. What, okay, like, check this out. I'm in my 40s, okay? I can't have the same mentality that I had in my 30s, nor can I have the same one in my 20s. It's rather juvenile, right? Okay, so if you meet a man and he's 43 years old, that motherfucker can't be acting like he's 27. Come on now. It don't look right. It, it's not, it, it, no. Now, not to throw the Bible in this thing, but according to the word, a woman can go where she's supposed to know. There's a reading that you go that's telling you what it's supposed to be, what you're supposed to be as a woman and as a wife, okay? Proverbs 31, look it up. I'm going to need y'all to look that motherfucking shit up. Look it up, okay? Look it up and figure out where you're going wrong at. Fuck what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Because some motherfuckers feel like I don't know what I'm talking about, no how, okay? And that's fine too, but I didn't get this way. If I didn't know what I was talking about, I went through some trial and error. So at this point in time, I'm just basically sharing what I had to learn along the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to be a God and light. Hold up the light. Girl, come on, let's go. We're going this way. Don't go that way. It's some bullshit, girl. Let's come on, let's go this way. I'm going to hold the light to be your God and light to help you through this shit. Because a lot of times, back in the day, our mothers didn't tell us a lot of things. My mama didn't tell me shit. I had to learn about my own pocketbook. You understand me? I had to learn how to do this motherfucking thing on my own. Now, yes, when I first got my period, that's the first and the only talk we had. This is your sanitary napkins. This is your Kotex. They called them sanitary napkins back in the day, or Kotex. All of them were sanitary napkins and Kotex. Later on came Always and OB and all that bullshit. Back in the day, it was Kotex and sanitary napkins. You understand me? So, wipe front to back, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? Later on, motherfuckers get the peppermint soap and all this shit and water works, which is the coldest shit in the world, Lord have mercy. When y'all came out with that motherfucking water works, y'all done something with that. That's one of my bestest motherfucking friends. Every time I take a shower, I need steam and I need water works every day, okay? Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to tell you that it's a trip on how this life in this world works and when you get a certain age on what it is that drives you and motivates you and moves you and over the weekend you know you guys know I went to uh, Jazz Fest West had a beautiful time I went solo because I wanted to just let me just go you know what I'm saying man I, I done worked on my body in the off season let me wear me some real cute shit you know let me do something to my hair and shit you know what I'm saying 